So, hi guys. Welcome back sa aking channel. So, ito nga pala yung summative assessment to midterm namin sa Power Electronics Lab and Lec. So, yung napuntang set sa akin is set B, which is the half wave rectifier with a free tape wheeling diode has R is equal to 12 ohms and L is equal to 60 megahertz. The source is 120 VRMS at 60 hertz. From the Fourier series of the half wave rectified sine wave that appears across the load, Determine the DC component of the current. Determine the amplitudes of the first non-zero at AC terms in the Fourier series. Comment on the results. So, gagawin natin tong um, figure na to sa ORCAD. So, kung tayo yung ORCAD, new project. Yung project name is Summative Midterm. Then, click OK. Create a blank project. Then, so place. Uh, piece space component, search natin yung B sign. Double click lang. Then, search natin yung B break. Dito yung B break. Tapos, isa pang B break dito. Tapos, rotate natin. So, ganyan yung itsura nya. Then, place natin yung um, this first component resistor natin dito. Then, rotate natin. Then, place natin yung inductor. Dito ba siya ganda? Then, rotate din natin. Align natin siya. Ay! Close natin to. Align natin siya sa resistor. Then, place ulit tayo ng ground dito sa may lalim. Then, connect natin siya. ayusin natin dito sya ba nila tapos yung doctor dyan then connect natin ito yung D break tapos yung ground place natin sya tapos maximize natin so ganyan yung magiging itsura ng circuit natin then um, yung V-off natin, ng value niya ay 0. Tapos sabi, um, 120 VRMS. So, kapag kinonvert natin siya sa V-amplitude, ang magiging sagot ay 169.71. 169.71. And click OK. Then, yung frequency natin is 60 Hz. Then, yung AC natin is 0. Tapos yung R1 natin is 12 ohms. Close. Twelve ohms. Then yung inductor natin is sixty megahertz. Sixty megahertz mh. So again, yung magiging itsura ng circuit natin. Then sa sa first question is determine the DC components of the current from the Fourier series of the half wave rectified sine wave that appears across the load. So punta tayo sa piece by new simulation profile. Ang pangalan natin is summative midterm. Then, create. Let's wait lang natin lumabas. Ang run to time natin is 16.67 ms. And then, yung maximum step size natin is 10 US. Click apply, click OK, then click run. So, lumabas na yung simulation natin. Um, Para makitahanap yung this component of the load voltage, itatype natin yung AVGV type natin sa trace yung AVG AVG PR12 ito ito na natin and click OK so add cursor on tagay natin sa baba to add cursor on natin so ang nakuha natin by value is 52.749 then dun naman sa calculated ng na this component of the load voltage ang nakuha natin is 54.02 volts by having a formula of Vm over pi then substitute 120 square root of 2 volts over pi nakuha natin yung 54.02 volts then dun sa measured value natin is 52.749 which is nearly the same then kapag 
kukunin naman natin yung PC component of the current, kailangan natin is, the type natin sa trace is AVG um, AVG IR11 So, IR IR11 Then, click OK um, naka, Nagsimula siya sa negative So, lagyan natin ng negative so, para pataas then cursor on ang nakuha nating value is 4.0298 so ayan 4.0298 and yung calculated value natin is 4.5 amperes so nakuha natin yung DC component of the current by having a formula of VO over R then substitute 54.02 volts over 12 ohms 4.5A ang measured value natin is 4.0298 which is nearly the same Dun sa pangalawa, pangalawa naman, determine the amplitudes of the first four non-zero AC terms in the Fourier series. So, sa AC voltage amplitudes for N is equal to 1, 2, 4, 6. For V1 is 84.85 volts. For V2 is 36.01 volts. For V4, 7.20 volts. For V6 is 3.09 volts. Sa impedance, sa impedance naman, Z1 is equal to 25.61 ohms. Z2 is equal to 46.80 ohms, Z4 is 91.27 ohms, and Z6 is 136.25 ohms. Sa AC current amplitude naman, I1 is 3.31 ampl amp amperes, I2 is 0.77 amperes, I4 is 0.08 amperes, and I6 is 0.02 amperes. So, may kita naman sa table ng compilation ng mga values, ng calculated values of the AC voltage amplitude, impedance, and AC current amplitude. So, para makita natin yung Na, yung load voltage and current waveforms, um, X natin to. Balik tayo sa ORCAD, sa PSPICE, at simulation profile. Gawin natin 50 MS para magkaroon ng 3 waveforms. Click OK. Para makita natin yung steady state values nila. So, ang type natin is V sa trace is um, VR12. Click OK and IR11. So, ayan, lumabas yung waveform ng load voltage and current. Yung load voltage is yung green waveform, which has three, um, three waveforms. Then, yung current is yung red waveform, which is in three steady state waveforms then. So, para naman makita natin yung wave waveform of the current across V1, ta type lang natin yung sa trace is I D1. I D1 colon 1. So, ganyan yung itsura no. Waveform of the current across D1 which is which has three steady state waveforms then. Nakita natin na nagre-rise then straight pababa, then nagre-rise ulit. Then lastly, yung waveform of the current across D2. Trace, add trace, ID21. Click OK. So, ayan, may kita rin natin na above 6 amperes. Taas, then bumaba. 3 steady state waveforms ulit. Tumaas ulit, then bumaba. Then tumaas ulit, then bumaba. So, yun lang yung sa summative 2 ng ating midterm for power electronics.